Welcome to the Beyond the Diagnosis podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Kylie Burton. If you have been told that your blood work is normal, yet you feel awful, well, this is the place for you. Because whether you have a diagnosis or not, I'm going to teach you how to turn those normal labs into real answers, healing, and hope. So grab your blood work. Come join me. Here we go. Welcome to the Beyond the Diagnosis podcast with me, Dr. Kylie. So Mike Reese is here to join us. We're going to take a deep, deep dive into supplements. And this is going to be targeted more towards practitioners. So if you're a practitioner, listen in. Um, you might need to take some few, take a few notes. If you're a patient, listen in too, because it's always very helpful information. Great to be here, Kylie. Thank you. Give us a little brief intro on your background. I love dietary supplements, nutraceuticals, natural products, whatever you want to call them, uh, because of the impact that they have on the body. And I've had, I've been blessed with a lot of experience to work closely with practitioners, chiropractors, even MDs, functional medicine doctors, other health coaches, and just people with diversity and backgrounds that are trying to build a business with dietary supplements. And help other people get better from their chronic issues that they have. And, and so it's, it's fun to brainstorm and, and troubleshoot with practitioners and find out what the best supplement solutions there are to really help them in their business and help them with their patient scenarios, their client scenarios that they have. Some of which are, are very unique and, and where people have struggled with some some tough stuff. I mean, as you, you've you lived that, I mean, you've been able to live that firsthand as a practitioner, being able to witness the kinds of things that people deal with at a day-to-day basis. And so what I've liked, especially about comprehensive, like natural products, is how much they can help people with the messed up gut and with the chronic sleeping issues and the chronic migraines, whatever it is. That they don't know what's called, like... I don't know what this is. I just feel like crap. And people are telling me that I'm depressed and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, no, you're not crazy. You just don't fit underneath an umbrella. And when you don't fit underneath an umbrella, we have a hard time treating you. And when I, when I say treating, I mean giving you a pill that's supposed to manage your symptoms. Supplements are your world. I know that firsthand. Supplements are exciting and... When a supplements company or just supplements in general seem to be overwhelming to you, if you are a practitioner and you've set up a new account with a company, there are ways to take away the overwhelm. Obviously, there's training within those companies and some companies make it more um, feasible than others, but there is in general a way to make supplements, the understanding of supplements, I think, easier. While some companies like a, a standard process or a thorn research or systemic formulas are, they, they've they been around long enough that they have like a vast product line. Whereas there's a Cellcor, like Cellcor Biosciences based out of Idaho, they don't have a ton of products yet and they have their niches. And so it makes it a little bit easier for people to understand. And they've done a super good job with just laying out their step-by-step protocol kits and their online dashboard for everybody to make it easier to understand. But what I've been able to witness with practitioners that learn from Dr. Kylie and her blood work mastery trainings, and what I've learned from a variety of practitioners is that sometimes it goes beyond kits and it goes beyond like, you know, just the set protocol. There is personalization, there is customization, and that's where things can get really fun as long as you can still keep it simple and not have it be so, you know, overwhelming. Mike, dive into, let's just say like your, your top five supplements, what are your favorite five? You know, there's categories that I think have meant the most for different reasons and one category is microbiome. Microbiome, and that encompasses not just probiotics, but that encompasses the overall well-being of your gut, your intestinal mucosal barrier, which um, in most cases for people that's been 
erode it. And so you want to repair that. Um, so I'll, I'll touch on that a little bit more. Microbiome is one of them. The brain is tremendous. And I think it's supplements are underutilized widely to help with the brain. There's so much there to help with the, just the neurocognitive aspect and way people can sleep better um, for children, adolescents, young single adults, university students, um, middle-aged people, raising young families. I mean, the brain health is huge, uh, neurotransmitter health and elderly across the board. So that should not be overlooked. Okay, give us your top two in the microbiome and then your top two for brain. Soil-based probiotics. I think probiotics are probiotics are very important for patients who haven't really gone through a gut purge yet. So they have small intestine bacterial overgrowth or they've got candida or mold toxicity. They have some underlying like pathogenic overgrowth issue. Well, you don't want to throw a bunch of probiotics at them. So that's not what's encouraged. But eventually probiotics do have their place. And when they do, I think the most important thing is to find variety, not only to get them on just one probiotic that they take every so often. I think it's, it's important to take advantage of so many different bacteria combinations out there. And one in particular is made by my biome by Dr. Shane Morris. He's been able to diversify a bunch of different categories. He has an immune one. He has a brain one. He, he has skin, endocrine, um, and others that are all targeting those bodies system. And that's one of the reasons I like probiotics is they're not just for repairing the gut, but they're there to help with the brain and the skin and, uh, endocrine and all the other parts of the body. Microbiome Labs is really good at doing that as well. They're, they're a brand that really has, that's their main focus of their entire company actually, is gut health. Um, while they don't necessarily have a lot of emphasis in like mitochondria and antioxidants and all of those, they're focused on probiotics and diversifying that and having that help the gut and the brain and the skin and, and, and everything else, the immune system. But uh, keep that in mind with my biome, microbiome labs. I think those are two of the front runners for just having game changing gut health for your patients or clients. Brain in terms of anxiety, depression, those seem to be the two common ones that just come up, you know, chronic anxiety, chronic depression, brain too. Brain fog, maybe that's even more common than anxiety or depression. Um, but alertness, recall, memory, all of those things that are important to all of us. We want to be able to focus. We want to be able to like get more done, be more productive, have better levels of concentration. And while there's nutrition that helps that, like there, there are specific vitamins and minerals that are always important for the brain. There's amino acids. There's, there's these other herbs and things like that that are good for the brain, right? Um, but when it comes to the microbiome, they've, they've done enough clinical work or there's enough clinical data to support that those with a lot of hostility and anger, um, depression, anxiety, you name it, they are deficient in specific uh, microbiota. There's contents in their intestines that they're just void of, they're deficient. And so when you're able to repopulate that, it can make a difference. That's where like a, a brain probiotic like Zenbiome Cope by Microbiome Labs or Neurobiome, that's where they come into play because um, the biochemists or the scientists from either of those companies have done their due diligence over so many years to find out which, uh, bacteria works the best for the brain. They put that all together in the right ratios and, and it's there to help. Okay. If you've been listening to this and you're like, holy smokes, 
I don't even want to learn all this stuff. <laughs> it can be overwhelming. Getting into the supplement world, getting like it literally is biochemistry. Functional medicine is biochemistry. It was one of my favorite classes in um, in, in chiropractic school because it to me is just functional medicine. It was all biochemistry. Hey, if you're new here, welcome aboard. If you're coming back, welcome back. I'm coming back as well. In fact, we're going to have new episodes every Wednesday right here on the Beyond the Diagnosis podcast. If you love what you just listened to and love what you've been listening to, I would be honored to have you leave a review. Leave it on the place where you listen to your podcast so that way more people can find this podcast and get answers from their blood work as well. I'm Dr. Kylie and I'll see you next week.